Hey guys, thanks for joining us uh, with Next with Dave. I just want to spend just a minute to tell you about something that I do to help make the surface of the griddle as slick as I can possibly get it. My wife doesn't, doesn't like that a lot of what I cook I use oil on and she just wants things uh, that are cooked very oilless and almost dry cooked but yet I want it to be as slick as I possibly can so I don't have to use much oil. As we scan over the surface of the griddle with the camera you can see that there's scratches, there's some areas that are a little less seasoned than others but mostly what happens is as you use it your metal utensils will scratch up the surface of the griddle. And I'm about to show you a technique that I use to get the surface of my griddle as slick as Teflon. Guys, this really works if, if, you, if you'll do this. So let me show you a couple of things that I'm going to be using first. So there's really just a couple of quick tools that I use. First of all, it's an 800 grit wet dry sandpaper. Then I'm going to do a final touch up with some steel wool. And the steel wool is going to be a quadruple aught grade. Now if you're not familiar with steel wool, you can get it in single lot, double lot, triple lot, quadruple lot, even greater. Um, the, the more zeros, the finer the grade. So let me show you how I do this. All right, guys, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, an old sponge from the kitchen, wrap my wet, dry sandpaper around it. The griddle is cold. It's at room temperature or outdoor temperature. This sandpaper is designed to be used wet. And I'm not going to push down real hard, but I'm just going to use this very lightly and just go over it. You'll feel it grabbing at first. And once you get the water on it, the water acts as a lubricant and it also acts as a media to carry what you sand it off. So I'm just, and I'm not pushing down very hard. Um, I'm just trying to knock off the tops of the scratches. If you've ever sanded on anything like wood or a car, you know that you're going to use varying grits of sandpaper and the first grit knocks down most of the material and pretty much all the other grits after that are to knock down the sand scratches you created with the first grit. <laughs> so in, in a way that's what we're going to do here. So I'm just going to try to knock the, the tops off the scratches and even out any of the carbon surface that's left on this, this griddle. I did, uh, before we started, I did take some water and wipe off most of the oil that I had on here. And that's really all it takes for that one. And then the next step is pretty simple. You just take some steel wool and open it up and just start hitting it with the steel wall. And that is gonna, like I just said, knock off any sand scratches from the 800 grit sandpaper. Try the other side. You can see how it's taken some of the carbon off but not all of it because I'm not pushing that hard. But I'm just trying to get this as smooth as I possibly can. And I can feel as I'm doing this how slick this is actually getting. I'll be able to cook on this griddle vegetables, um, lots of other stuff, and not use any oil whatsoever and it's healthier that way. Don't get me wrong, there's times when I like oil just as much as the next guy. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're just gonna hit it with some paper towels. And you can see that we're getting some of that off of there. I don't wanna eat that, so I'm gonna rinse it real good. get as much off as I can.
and then let me dry it off get her nice and dry now when we do a close-up you can see yes there are still some scratches but they've been knocked down uh, and, and kind of filled in and the surface of this is going to be once I put another coat of oil on it very very light coat of oil it'll be as, as slick as Teflon so let me get some oil and we'll do that last I, as I just said I kind of want to do this with I want to be able to cook with no oil and really what I mean is no extra oil that I've put on here before I put uh, any kind of vegetables or um, like if I'm gonna uh, cook something and I want it to be as dry like if I'm doing a stir fry or something uh, we don't like too much oil so I'm just going to put a light coat and I mean a very light coat back on this so that'll be the last step that I do here I will crank this up get her up as hot as close to over 500 degrees as I can let this layer of oil smoke off that's the final seasoning okay guys so I really just wanted to give you a quick tip on how I keep this uh, griddle top as slick as I can possibly get it. Very simple, just a couple of steps. Clean it off with some water. Use some 800 grit. You could even use 1200 grit. Uh, wet dry sandpaper, don't push down too hard. Follow it up with some uh, very, very fine steel wool. Clean it all off. Light coat of oil. Heat it up, let that light coat of oil burn off. And guys, you'll be amazed at how slick this will make the surface of your griddle. If you like what, we, what you see, what we've done here, please subscribe, like our video, and I'll see you next time, next with Dave.